it's Tammy Mastroverde of Elevated Existence. I wanted to dedicate this week's video to the memory of Louise Hay, the founder of Hay House Publishing Company and a best-selling author. Many of you, I'm sure you already know her and you may have heard that she passed away on August 30th uh, at the age of 90, peacefully in her sleep and not coincidentally, it was two years to the day of Dr. Wayne Dyer's passing. And I know that because Serena, his daughter, Serena Dyer, actually posted that on her Instagram page, that it was two years to the day. So, again, not no coincidences in life. The two of them were very, very close in life. And, of course, it's no surprise to anyone that they, they passed two years apart from each other. But what I wanted to do here is talk to you a little bit about kind of the four biggest things that I've learned from Louise Hay in my own life and then just studying her work and actually interviewing her. I interviewed her in 2009 for the cover story of Elevated Existence's magazine's December issue. We actually presented her with the first ever, the first annual Elevated Existence Spiritual Service Award. We give that award out every year to a different author or teacher or leader in the space that is really has dedicated their life and their work to the service, the spiritual service of others, to helping others elevate their own lives and their own consciousness, as well as that of, of the world around them. So she was our first one, and I interviewed her back then. So I just wanted to share a couple of teachings and lessons that had an impact on me that you may have already know, and maybe it'll be a reminder, or maybe this will be something that you didn't know. So the first thing that I have to say, and I use this example a lot, is Louise Hay taught me that age is only a number. And the reason is she didn't even start on her spiritual path until she was 50 years old after a divorce. And she didn't publish her first book or start her publishing company till near the age of 60 years old. And I always hear, and, and you may have said this yourself, or you may have heard somebody else say, oh, I'm too old to do this, or, you know, I always wanted to do this, but now I'm 40, or I'm 50, or I'm 60, or 70, or whatever age. And I always say, listen, don't you know about Louise Hay? She didn't start on her spiritual path until she was 50 years old. She didn't understand all this, and she started her own company at the age of near 60. So don't use the excuse, I'm too old to do this or I'm too old to do that. It's never too late. It's never too late to start anything, to do that thing that you've always wanted to do, to write that book, to open that business, to start you know, a new hobby or anything that you really want to do to heal yourself, to change your beliefs, to change your mindset. You don't have to look and say, now I'm too old or I've been doing this too long. Not true at all. And Louise Hay is such an amazing example of that. So that's the first thing that I learned from her. The second thing is really the power, the amazing power, I should say, of our thoughts and the use of affirmations. When I interviewed her back in 2009, she actually said to me that every thought that we think or sentence that we say out loud is an affirmation. Think about that. Every thought we have and every sentence that we say out loud complaining to other people about things or whatever it is that we're speaking out loud, that's an affirmation. You're affirming that to the universe. So she really dedicated so much of her work on changing people's thinking, changing people's thought patterns and beliefs. And the power of affirmations is incredible. So if you think about it, sometimes people say, oh, I've tried affirmations and they don't work. You can't say affirmations, you know, for a month and say it's not working. You know, it took you a long time to create the thoughts and the beliefs that you have. It's going to take you a little while to change them. But if every thought that we think and every sentence that we say is an affirmation to the universe, why not consciously choose and say some of them? So some of her favorite that she shared back then were life loves me. Another one I know I've heard her say so many times is life loves me, all is well, all is well in my world, or all is well with me. She also shared that, that she blesses and prospers others, and they bless and prosper her. So those were just a couple of affirmations. She has many books on it, and, and really that was like the crux of what kind of started her, was, was realizing 
these beliefs and these thoughts and how we actually do have the power to change them and influence them. So definitely that was a huge one I learned from her. The third thing that I, I think that I had learned from her is the power that we have to heal ourselves. She, again, her first book that she ever published was Heal Your Body. She was working with AIDS patients years back and she started keeping a list of the thought patterns and the, the thought the thoughts that we were having and the beliefs that they were creating and how they were actually contributing to illness in our body. And then she started flipping them around and creating a list also of the, the opposite. And so the first book that she ever published, which is still available today, is called Heal Your Body and it lists every symptom. It even lists like the, the left side of the body versus the right side of the body or, you know, the, your legs as, as well as like physical symptoms that we can have. And she lists the thought patterns that tend to create them because it's thoughts and emotions that get stuck in our body really that causes all the havoc and disease that we have. And then she lists all of the, the new thought patterns and the new affirmations that you can adopt. She healed herself from cancer years ago and she just really dedicated herself to helping people heal their lives and all aspects of their lives. So she, that book, I still refer to that book today if I have a symptom or there's something going on with me and I'm trying to figure out what do I need to clear or what needs to be done, I'll go back to that. And you can get that book, you can get the Heal Your Body, but there's also another, like a special version that's like, it's called A to Z, I think, Heal Your Body A to Z. And it's, and it's just that list of, of everything that, that you can look at in terms of what goes back to what, what thought patterns you need to change. So she was one of the first ones I think that I had found that really talked about how our minds influence our, our body and the illness in our body. So that was another thing I learned from her. And the last thing I think that, that I'll talk about here that I learned that's a big thing is the power of self-love. Louise Hay was huge on self-love. She had a, a book recently, I think it was a year ago, called Mirror Work. And she talked about really just looking in the mirror and, and telling yourself that you love yourself. And that's not always easy for everybody. I mean, think about it. Staring in the mirror and saying, I love you, and then saying your name. And really sitting with that and meaning that. And loving yourself and taking care of yourself and, and using affirmations for self-love. Because it heals. Self-love heals ourselves. We, we can heal, our, heal ourselves with that. And it extends to every area. The more you love yourself, the more you're able to love others. And whether we're talking about healing the body or whatever, healing the mind, healing our lives, right? That's why she wrote a whole book called Heal Your Life. So Louise Hay put an amazing stamp on the world, with especially the world of self-improvement. And, and her teachings are going to live on and on and on. And her publishing company is going to live on and all the wonderful work that they do. And so these are just a few things that I just wanted to make this video to really, as a tribute to her, to say thank you for everything and to share with you some of the stuff that was top of mind for me that I think about and that I remember learning from Louise Hay. So maybe there's more things that you guys can add to it. Leave comments here and let me know what you think or what you have learned from her and kind of put that out there into the universe. I'm sure she hears it all and watches it all. She's probably hanging out with Wayne Dyer right now and all of the other people that um, that have crossed over, Debbie Ford, so many others that, that are out there and that are watching over all of us. So I thank you for watching this video. I hope something in it triggered something in you or maybe reminded you of something that you also knew about. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.